Well, it's just shy of four years ago, Ash Delosa made the important decision to leave the comforts of Queensland, head to New South Wales to further her career in harness racing. With very little experience behind her, she's done a wonderful job in that time since. In fact, she is definitely listed as one of our rising stars. I caught up with Ash following in a remarkable display at Newcastle on Friday night. Well, Ash, first of all, congratulations on the performance in Newcastle on Friday night. To drive four winners on a card when there's eight races is outstanding. When you have four drives, drive four winners, that just takes it to another level. Yeah, it um, felt pretty amazing, really. Uh, I never expected it to happen. Um, I only ever driven a double before, but yeah, to get the four was pretty amazing. Three of those winners were for Ricky Orchard, who you've been associated with now for an extended period. Uh, yeah, his team's um, going really good at the moment and I've been there for probably yeah, about three years and um, yeah, it's always good to get a winner for Ricky. As I mentioned, I spoke to you when you first arrived here in New South Wales with your partner Chris Geary. Very little race experience as far as harness racing was concerned. You've done a remarkable job. Yeah, I didn't have much of an idea when I first started out. I've always been involved in horses but not harness racing and um, no, I've definitely come a long way. And definitely a big thanks to Chris, uh, my partner. He's definitely helped me a lot. Just on the subject of Chris, he's driving in outstanding form as well. He's produced a couple of Perla drives in recent times. He probably doesn't get the credit he deserves. Yeah, for sure. He's definitely an underrated driver, really. Like, I think he's one of the best in New South Wales, and I'm not being biased or anything, but um, I love watching him drive. He really teaches me a lot. You can tell he's been tutored by Luke McCarthy when he drives. Yeah, for sure. He, um, he really looks up to Luke, and obviously Luke's one of the best as well. So, um, yeah, Luke's been really good to Chris and um, even myself. Like, I've learned a lot off both of them. Ash, one of the aspects of your driving that's impressed me in the last seven or eight months is the fact that you can win from anywhere in the field. You're not just in front or just sitting off the speed. You can win from anywhere in a race. Um, yeah, the last couple of months, I think I've really improved a lot. And, um, no, I probably prefer to come from back in the field, like, I don't really lead a lot of races. Um, yeah, I'm a little sit sprinter, I think. <laughs> Last season, Ash, 20 winners. Already this season, you've got 47. On the State Drivers Premiership, you're running seventh to Cam Hart, and Cam's got 95. We know he's going to bolt it in. He just does that year in, year out these days. Leading concession, you're running third to Jet Turnbull and Jack Callaghan. Leading female driver, you're running at the top of the table there with Grace Pinella chasing you. And also on the leading female trainers, you're running seventh to Carrie Ann. So all-round figures are outstanding. Yeah, for sure. The stats look really good. Um, obviously, Cam's one of the best drivers in New South Wales, and to be running seventh in that top ten is just amazing. And to be leading the females is even better. Um, hopefully, I can keep on top. Working for Ricky Orchard, we know Ricky's an outstanding mentor and a driver, but he's right across the board, young horses, older horses, trotters. He can do it all, but to work with Ricky is a big plus. Yeah, for sure. He's a really great horseman. Um, like you said, he gets the babies and the older ones going. Um, wouldn't find a better one to get the babies going, that's for sure. He really knows his stuff. And um, yeah, I've learned a lot since being there. And I think since working with Ricky, he's definitely helped me improve my driving as well. And even training, like I learn everything, uh, something new every day. He's a pretty laid back character. I would assume he'd be like that to work for. And he's, he's a very patient trainer as well. Yeah, he is. Um, I love working for him. He's really easy going, never bad word from him so um no I, I definitely learn a lot from him as a trainer and driver and one thing with Ricky if you put in the work he'll reward you with drives yeah for sure he's been really good to me and I can't be any more thankful for everything that he's done for me um yeah like these last three years these last couple months actually I've really improved and it's a uh, big thanks to Ricky he's taken another youngster under his wing and Declan Murphy yeah Declan he's going really good um he's really hard work and he really wants to learn um he just sticks at it and hopefully he, um, he'll get a good chance and especially when I lose my five point, um, if he just sticks it out, Ricky will really give him a good go. You're going to need to produce some big efforts on Tuesday with a couple of the drives in race three. And you come to the stable so you probably haven't really worked this fella out yet. Will Roby, his form is not all that crash hot. No, he's a very lowly graded um, horse. We just put him in on a Tuesday just to see where he's at. I don't really expect him to do too much but as long as he hits the line good enough and... Um, yeah, hopefully it goes good. As I mentioned, you're flying this season with your stats, but the Pooh Bar, which goes around in race five, 11 starts this season, all unplaced. He's just lost confidence. Yeah, he's a bit of a funny horse. He um, hasn't been going as good as I know he can. He, um, yeah, he's lost, lost a bit of form, like you said, and just trying to work him out again. Um, he's just had a little bit of a few issues, but, yeah, I might just drive him cold this week and see how he gets home. This weather keeps up. They'll all be driven cold. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
Over to race six, Ricky's got two horses going around, both drawn out nine and ten respectively. Sweet Haley Jane, which is flying, coming off a very impressive win. Harmony, a horse you know a lot about. Yeah, they're both really nice horses. Um, Sweet Haley Jane, she has her little little tricks she likes to do, but she's a really fast horse and I really like her. Um, and Harmony, yeah, he's a great horse as well and he's quite fast. Um, yeah, I think they're really both nice horses. Ricky was saying he's still got to work out the drive, so we've got to stay tuned for that, but would you like to be sticking with Harmony? Yeah, I'll probably say Harmony just because Sweet Haley Jane, she obviously has her tricks and um, she does get pretty fiery, so I think Ricky should probably drive her. <laughs> he did drive her a treat last time out when she won easily too. Yeah, um, Ricky seems to get on with her pretty well, like he knows her better than I do, so um, yeah. Well, Ash, thanks for your time and continue the good work. We're looking forward to uh, bigger and better things. Thank you.